we always wanted to kind of not be on our covers ourselves, not have pictures. It is probably the most recognisable album cover of all time. Something that you can sit and look at for a long time without getting fed up with it. The prism is the logo that absolutely defines the record. One day I was sitting in the studio and I was thumbing through a book which is about refraction of light, called Light and Colour. This book was an inspiration. And Storm looked at me and said, I can see an image of a white light hitting a triangle and bursting into a rainbow. Dark Side of the Moon prism design comes from three basic ingredients, one of which is the light show that the band put on, so I was trying to represent that. Also, one of the themes of the lyrics, which was, I think, about ambition and greed. And thirdly, it was an answer to Rick Wright, who said that he wanted something simple and bold and dramatic. I sketched it up on a piece of paper with crayons. It was very amateur. And we took it up to Abbey Road Studios showed it to the band. They came in and they looked around and uh, they went, hmm, 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 that one. I do remember instantly seeing the pyramid. Each one went, that's it, that's what we want, that's the one. Everyone immediately went, terrific, great, let's do that. As epitomised by their ability to choose it so quickly and so easily, I just think it's somehow very fitting. I mean, it's hard to imagine it without it, isn't it, really? So moving on 50 years, the problem is, how do you create or recreate that symbol in a new piece of packaging. And for that, I went to Pentagram. So this was the original inspiration for the box set for the 50th anniversary of the Dark Side of the Moon. And it came from the theme that's in the Dark Side of the Moon of Egyptology. And so that the whole notion of a sarcophagus with all its hidden sarcophagi inside it was just a perfect metaphor for the same idea. It also gave us the notion of gold. And this is my first original sketch, trying to work out how that box might relate to a sarcophagi. So you can see each bit of the box opening and unfolding, revealing another box within it. And all the way is a journey to this central golden box, which contains the original album and a live album from the 1974 Dark Side of the Moon tour. The next thing we made was this three-dimensional visualization of the expanded set of boxes themselves. And this gives us the kind of form that we then turn into three-dimensional real maquettes, all the way down through the different layers to the golden box within the greater box. Stop!